What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mine Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to mine Pink Chain on Hive OS. As of today, this is the first day that you can mine it on the main net. And in another video, I will show you guys how to mine this on Windows. But for now, let's stick to Hive OS. And before we get started, if you would do me a favor, hit that like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe and let's jump straight in. So I'm going to pull up my Hive OS account here. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a wallet. So once you go to wallet, you're going to select add wallet. You're going to select the ticker pink. And then you're going to enter in your wallet address. Now, if you don't have a wallet for pink yet, I covered that in a previous video, which I will link now, but you're going to get that wallet address from your MetaMask. You just simply need to copy from the wallet address here and then paste it here in your address and then give it a name. And hit create. Once you have created it, you're going to create a flight sheet. And the ticker is going to be pink. You're going to select the wallet that you just created. Then for your pool, you're going to configure in minor. Now you can also use one of these as well, but let's go the hard route just so you can see how it's done. Now, as far as miners are concerned, I have only tried T-Rex Miner and NB Miner. Uh, I suggest using T-Rex Miner for this one specifically. And one very important thing to know is when you go up to Setup Miner Config, make sure that you change this from the latest to the actual version. And the reason I say that is because when I first launched T-Rex on this, my hash rate was significantly lower and it matched what I had when cards were still LHR before it was 100% unlocked. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you select ETH hash as your algorithm. This is an ETH hash algorithm and I believe that will change in the future, but for now it is ETH hash. So then you're going to go to your wallet template, just select the wallet, select your worker name, and now for your pool, this is going to depend on what pool that you want to use. So let's talk about the different pool options. So I'm at pinkchain.net. We're going to scroll down towards the bottom here until we see mining pools. You've got several choices, mining for people, woolly pulley, hero miners, coin hunters, Vanthoy, E4 pool, cool pool, pool IBE, and love the miners. Now I've tested both mining for the mining for people and woolly pulley. Uh, you can do either solo or PPLNS on woolly pulley, uh, but you can only do PPLNS on mining for people. And as you can see, it'll tell you what options you have. So if you select one of these, it's going to bring you directly to uh, the pink chain options here and what you need to find is your connection so select connect and then depending on your geographical area you're going to select which pool is appropriate for you i'm in the u.s so i would choose pool.us.woollypulley.com and then there's our port number and if you select it it's going to copy it to your clipboard then you're going to go back to your flight sheet and you're going to paste that into the pool url now, if you plan on using a different pool, let's say, for instance, mining for people, I just wanted to point out that they do not have the port number listed. Let me see if I can find it here. I believe it's under connect. Here we go. So here's your different stratums here, but notice they don't have the port number listed. I'm not real certain why. Uh, but if you scroll down a little bit further here, so you've got your non-secure and then you've got your secure. So all you're doing is adding a two in front of this here. So that would be your port number. So let's go back to the flight sheet here. So for example, if I was going to use mining for people, I would copy this stratum here, 
minus the XXXX. Paste it there. And then again, uh, you would use the proper either non-secure or the secure. We'll just select this here. Maybe if my mouse will work. So copy. I got an extra space in there, so we need to make sure we delete that. You're going to apply your changes. Make sure that you give your flight sheet a name and then hit create flight sheet. Now I've already created a couple, so let's go ahead and take a look at the performance here. And we'll take a look at Tatooine because it's got a, a variety of cards here. So we got 3060 TIs, 3070, 3080 Ti, 3070, and 3070 Ti. And as you can see, these hatch, hash rates should be uh, identical to what you get on ETH W, ETH F, ETH Ethereum Classic, what, whatever it was in Ethereum, you should be getting the identical hash rates and power. So that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.